a snake shedding collaboration? Can we soap it? I'm so excited about this collaboration with Renee at Soaps for Love. Renee is a genius at coming up with themes, and she came up with the idea for us to do a snake shedding collaboration and to incorporate the colors from the snakes the shedding came from. Renee also hosts the quarterly YouTube collaborations and makes incredible soaps that she gives away. She's so creative, a wonderful soap maker, and incredibly generous. Triple threat! I will add a link in the video description to the sister video for this collaboration on Renee's YouTube channel. I soaked the snake shedding in warm water and vinegar and swished it around, and then I rinsed it off and laid it out to dry overnight. I tore it into smaller pieces and let the hot lye water dissolve it. Whatever didn't dissolve got strained out. In a previous batch, I didn't tear the shedding into smaller pieces like I did here. I don't feel like one way was more effective or less effective than the other. My friend Andy breeds gorgeous snakes. He also grows beautiful orchids and has a great talent for soap making. This is one of his green tree pythons, which is the inspiration for the soap. Andy was kind enough to gift me some shedding from one of these pythons, and my color scheme for the soap will allude to the colors in this amazing creature. I normally would have added this well-behaving fragrance to the base oils before adding the lye solution. However, I'm getting a little low on the scent, and I weighed it out in advance to ensure I had enough to use in this batch. I divided this batch up so that I could ensure most of the soap would be green. I knew if I eyed it instead of weighing it out a little more carefully, I might not be happy with the ratios of the accent colors and the main color in this design. So I weighed out one sixth of the soap is blue, one sixth is yellow, and two thirds is green. This is a perfectly fluid batter for an intricate drop swirl.
just couldn't be happy with the top of this soap. I actually took it out of the oven after a little while and textured it off camera and then I placed it back in the oven to finish oven processing it.